My feeling toward school classes is very strong. Everyone can relate to a class. Each class is different. Each class has a character of its own. I wanted to look at the people and see their mystery and try to find just what kind of class this was, where the people are now, what they are doing, and what they have done. By the mid-1970s, George Rodrigue had achieved great success with his scenes of Cajun folk life, expanding his clientele and having the opportunity for a book to be published by Oxmoor House, the publisher for Southern, Southern Living Magazine in 1976. The book, The Cajuns of George Rodrigue, included carefully selected images by the artist of his best paintings of the time, including Miss Arsena's Girl School, seen here. This important book was the first book published nationally on the Cajun culture in both English and French and was selected as a gift of state of the White House during the Carter administration. In writing about Miss Arsena's Girl School of 1973 in the book, Rodrigue reveals his fascination with class portraits and the dynamic of such groups. While each figure brings distinct elements all their own. A class exists only as a unique assemblage of people in a singular moment of time, a group that often shapes and defines our lives. One cannot help but draw a parallel to the Acadians, whose descendants today are still defined by the trials of their ancestors, even as each one of them continues to enrich the Cajun tradition. Rodrigue's first poor painting of a class the class of Marie Corriger sold here at Mule Auction in 2019 for a record-breaking 152,000 was inspired by a photograph of his mother's graduating class of 1924 in New Iberia, Louisiana. With Miss Arsenault's girls' school, he was inspired by a photo from a bit further afield, a New England yearbook image originally in a gymnasium setting. He transformed that group of students with his imagination, his incredible imagination, into a Cajun tradition within the landscape of South Louisiana. The class, the group of students, is the subject rather than its separate members. Although, in true Rodrigue fashion, the oak tree landscape is perhaps the most important element on the canvas. As seen in the rare 1973 in progress photo of Miss Arsenault's Girls' School, Rodrigue painted the landscape first around a blocked out silhouette of the class. The bushes then are echoing the girls' heads, locking them into the landscape, much like the Acadians became locked into the landscape of South Louisiana. When the young George Rodrigue returned to Louisiana from the Art Center College of Design in Los Angeles in 1967, he decided to graphically interpret his home state. And he did that by choosing the oak tree as his symbol. He often pushed it to the front of the canvas, always cropping it at the top so that the light became beneath the trees, illuminating the rich bayous and scenes below. The light also originates with his figures, the Acadians and Cajuns, who are often clothed in white. And that light, that white clothing emanating from them, symbolizes the hope of the Acadians for their new home here in Louisiana. Rodrigue's class and group portrait paintings are a memorable category within his overall body of work and shed light on a noteworthy exploration by this essential Louisiana artist. Miss Arsenault's Girls' School is a defining canvas of the artist's early career and a lasting testament to his imagination, heritage, and artistic vision. This work is on offer in our Premier Estates Collection auction on June 28 and can be viewed now at neilauction.com.